Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you step by step process how we can easily use Adobe Sign. I'm going to teach you how we can send documents for signing, then I'm going to also show you how you can you sign it by yourself and then I'm going to show you how you can create the templates. So without further ado, let's start. I'm going to turn off my camera so we can have the full experience and you don't have to look on my face the whole time, okay? <laughs> so let's start. Now, when you come here in uh, Adobe, you're gonna have in the menu a few things. In the documents, you're gonna see all the documents that need to be signed or you can like uh, your drafts here that you can send to people. Then you're gonna like sign. You can directly request signatures, fill and sign, add a signature or create a template. I'm going to teach you everything in this video. Then we can convert. This is not going to be in the tutorial. If you want to, I can make it, but I don't know if I want to make a video about like how to convert PDF to Excel. There are plenty of tutorials on it. Then you can have like edit the PDF content in which you can edit the text and images. I can look on it too if you want to. Share your files and then in all tools, you're gonna see literally everything. So let's click here on a sign and let's click request signatures. This is the first thing we are going to do. When I'm going to do it, the first thing I need to do is to add the files and I need to choose files from computer. So I'm going to the desktop and let's say that all like downloads and I'm going to find some PDF here, I don't know, invoice. Now I see the recipient. So complete in order, this is like if I'm going to have uh, multiple recipients here so I'm going to add a mail okay we have it and now email we can make the change this to also password if you want to and then you can have also message for the person now I'm going to click next right here it's going to process and in, after it I can start uh, actually editing everything so you have two options how you can add, uh, how we can request a sign. The first way is when you're gonna be a normal advanced simple editing mode. When I'm going to click plus here, whenever on screen, and you can add a text or you can add a signature field or you can go to the three dots here and you can set as a signer's name field, set as a signature date field, set as a signature email field or set as a checkbox. You can do it this way and just leave it like this if you want to. And then you can simply send it to someone now my recommendation is not using this way but go to top right and choose advanced editing on i would delete this signature here and what i would do is that you can simply uh, like add more recipients here you can choose the recipient that you want to like sign let's say that you're gonna then you need to sign from three people so you can have you're gonna have like three people here and then you can uh, click anyone and I'm going to, uh, let's say, anyone and then uh, the signer, I can simply add it and it's going to be blue, right? So signature fields here, I can simply now move the signature. I can add also initials. Now I can go signer into info fields. I can go with like, let's say email or like, let's say I'm going to delete this. I can add date. I'm going to make signature a little bit bigger. Initials is going to be here and date is going to be also like here. So this is how the person is going to see it. And then you can also add a date field, the data fields, text input, drop down, checkbox, radio button and transaction fields. Now I'm going to just click send. You can also save it as a template or save progress. Now the invoice was successfully sent for signature. Okay. I'm going to home. And straight away, I'm going to show you how it looks like. Look at this. So signature request, review and sign. So I'm going to open it in incognito window and I'm going to show you how it looks like from the signer perspective. So initials, this is the date. Click here to sign, draw and enter the name. And this is how the person is going to sign it. Voila, simple as that, right? So uh, this is how it's possible to done. And we did it. Now let's go back to Adobe. First, let's go to sign and we got the request signatures. Fill and sign is also really simple. 
So I'm going to resend again invoice. And let's wait until it's going to load. Mm, something is happening with it. Oh, so let's do it again. Fill and sign. I'm going to add a new file here. Uploading. So let's see now. Again, this is really simple. This is just for me. I can simply add a text. I can add a an X. Then I can add a yes. I can add a circle here. And then I can add a line. Right? And then I can add a sign. I can add initials or I can add simple signature here. Again, I can draw it. And simply add it. And make it bigger. See? And this is how we can fill and sign it by ourselves. So it's like really simple. Now, the second way what you can do is again to go to sign and add a signature. This is going to be really similar. Let me show you. Same thing, right? It works really similar. And then the last thing I prepared for you is how you can create a template. Template name. This is a template. I can add a files. Oh, choose a file. Then I'm going to download. I'm going to find another invoice. Preview and add fields. And this template can be used for participants, right? And this is really similar. I'm going to add a signature, initials, and I can add also date here. And then just click save. And this is the... Mm, template that I'm going to choose all the time. So I don't have to actually create the signature, create the field. Like these are the fields that I need to have. Click done. And now I can then send it, right? This is the template. And as you can see, I can use the template, edit the template, delete it, don't want the PDF if I want to. And this is how we pretty much do it. I mean, as you can see, using Adobe Sign is really simple. Here we can do also with the edit. And you can edit the text with PDF. And it's also that something you can actually do. So, yeah. If you have any questions, guys, ask me down in the comments. I'm really happy to help you. And yeah, have a great day and goodbye. See ya.